So hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, for this video, unlike past videos, I'm actually going to read from a script just so I can remember to get all the points down that I want to say because I do have a few. Um, but if you're attracted to this video by the title, then I really hope that this um, helps you. So without further ado, I'll start. So basically a while back, I was talking to a priest and I asked him if there was basically any point in praying for the church militant since, you know, it will probably just go away or God will make it go away or, you know, something like that. And the priest then asked me what I thought the church militant was. And, and I told him that I think the, the church militant is the practice of the Catholic faith outside of the church triumphant or, or heaven. And he said, okay, then why do you think that God will allow Catholicism outside of the church triumphant to go away? The Catholic Church was established by Jesus Christ. It's his church, isn't it? And of course I was like, yes, Father, I'm Catholic. That's what I believe. But in the end times, like in the Catechism, it says that the world will be purged by flame and everything will like go away. Not to mention that the Catechism says, God's triumph over the revolt of evil will take the form of the last judgment and after the final cosmic upheaval of this passing world. And Pope Francis literally said that everything deformed by sin will pass away. And the priest nodded and he said, all right, well, I, I, can, I can see why you're, you're worried. Let's backtrack a little. So you're distressed because you think that there's no other future for the church militant but to perish, right? Because you think that even if it doesn't perish before the end times, it will absolutely go away in the end times, right? And I nodded and he said, okay, well, let's start with the fear that the church will perish before the end times. First off, if I believed that this were true, would I have become a priest? And I think about it for a second, like, no, probably not. Uh, and he says, okay, yeah, so the church is far from perfect. But even in the worst case scenario, as long as there's just one person, just one singular person who practices the Catholic faith and who seeks forgiveness, the church will still be here. And even if, you know, and let's try looking at it from a logical perspective, right? The church has been here for, you know, almost 2,000 years. What's to say that it will go away anytime soon, right? Um, or, you know, go away ever. Um, let's, let's, just con let's just consider that for a second. I'm like, okay. And then he says, all right, the second fear that the church will go away because of the end times. First off, I've worried about this. When I was in seminary, this was something we all talked about. But here's what a priest um, told us. He said that the world being purged in fire actually may not mean literal fire. More likely, it means the fire of the Holy Spirit, more of a purification. And that in itself is actually something really beautiful. That's not something to be feared. Even though we don't really know what's going to happen to the church in the end times, or even one hour from now, it is not beyond hope. Nothing is beyond hope unless we resolve ourselves to believe that something is beyond hope. Now, although we can't change the will of God or what he does to the church by our day-to-day -day actions, we can't win God over, we shouldn't hope to win God over, that's not right, there is one thing that we can do and we know that will absolutely 100% help, and that is prayer. God wants us to bother him with our prayer. He likes to be pestered and badgered with our prayers. Um, and at this point, I'm like, okay, and he says, the, the priest said to me, there's a story about a man who didn't have bread to feed his guest and who showed up to his neighbor in the middle of the night and he knocked on the door and he asked him for bread. But the neighbor told him, no, it's the middle of the night. Like, I'm not getting up. Go, go away. Don't bother me. And, but this man refused to leave and he kept knocking on the door. And eventually the neighbor got so tired of hearing his neighbor knocking that he basically relented and he gave the man bread. So be persistent like the man who kept asking his neighbor for bread. Persistent intercessory prayer can move the will of God. So basically, um, to wrap things up in this video, um, so even though we don't exactly know what's going to happen in the end times, and even though we can't predict the future of the church militant, if you refuse to lose hope, if if we keep praying um, for God, asking him for mercy on the church militant, asking it to be purged with light and love from heaven and exist in unison with the church triumphant, if we remember that the church militant is not just an institution or a bunch of old beautiful churches, but that it's Catholicism, that it's the practice of the Catholic faith outside of the church triumphant, if we pray for its, uh, for its existence, then God may answer, right? The only moment that hope for the church militant is lost is when we stop praying for it, is when everyone stops praying for it and we stop having hope that God may have mercy on it and that it, that God may have mercy on it and that it doesn't have to be purged by flame or, you know, done away with. So,
Anyway, I hope this helps everyone, especially for those that worry about the future of the church militant. I know that, you know, before this conversation with the priest, I worried about it a lot. And as the priest told me, there's nothing wrong in worrying about the future of the church militant. Don't feel bad about it. Um, the, as the priest told me, you know, I actually worried about it too. I knew a lot of guys at seminary who did too. That's normal. That's natural. It means you care. And honestly, the church militant needs our prayers more than the church triumphant does. So keep praying. Um, and remember that nothing is beyond hope unless you resolve yourself to believe it to be so. So pray for the church militant. It needs our prayers. And remember that while our actions cannot move the will of God, persistent intercessory prayer can. So hope for the, the church militant is not lost. Hope for the future of it is not lost. Keep praying. Keep the faith. Um, and anyway, I hope this helps everyone. Uh, God bless.